It was 1924, and Khalil Abraham was about to build a hotel in the spot in Zaytun, where the Holy Family was said to have visited more than 1900 years earlier. One night, as he slept, Abraham was visited in a dream by the Virgin Mary. Build a church in my name, the Virgin demanded, and a miracle will take place in the future. He did just that. Then, on April 2, 1968, the miracle took place. Two Muslim parking garage agents on Taman Bay Street in the Cairo suburb of Zaytun saw a woman perched perilously on the dome of the Church of St. Mary. Thinking she was a young woman trying to kill herself, they shouted for her to come down. Then they realized that this was no ordinary woman. Soon, word spread that the Virgin Mary had returned to the Church of Zaytun built in an area that Mary had promised to return to after stopping at this spot to rest during the Holy Family's flight to Egypt. Bishop Marcos was among the thousands who saw the apparition of the Virgin Mary. At the time, a member of the Faculty of Engineering at Cairo University, Bishop Marcos describes what he saw in 1968. Just behind the church, in front of the wall of the church, I think, and not more than 40 or 50 meters, approximately at midnight. I have seen the vision, complete, very nice, very clear. I saw the complete face, complete body, and her hands waving to bless the people. And everyone could see that she concentrated her eyes on them exactly. Soon, thousands of Christians and Muslims alike flocked to the tiny church, including President Nasser, who was stunned by the vision. The apparition changed the politics of Egypt as Nasser developed better relation with Egyptian Christians. And of course, all who saw the apparition were overwhelmed. One who witnessed the apparition was Dr. Otto Minardis, a member of the German Theological Association and a Harvard-trained theologian who taught at the prestigious American University in Cairo. He marveled at what he saw in the early days of the apparition, bringing many students to witness what he called the most stunning sight he had ever seen. Well, it occurred during uh, the first days of April that thousands and ten thousands of people, both Muslims and Christians alike, assembled in front of the Church of the Holy Virgin to see the apparition of the Virgin Mary as she appeared there on the dome. The days later, large numbers of people, both Muslims and Christians of the various denominations, assembled there and witnessed the apparition in various forms. I myself saw it numerous times with friends in my parish with university students and uh, yes there's to me no doubt about it. Dr. Kerry Malik was among those who couldn't get enough of the holy apparition. He was among the first to see her holiness and returned several times. I, I was standing over there near the fence and holding that iron fence as, as, as strong as I could because of the pressure of the crowd. And it was about 8.30 in the evening, and I saw a light coming out from the south, this dome, which is the southwest dome, and the light began to increase uh, gradually, and then Suddenly, the Holy Mother was standing in front of the dome. She stood there for uh, about 15 minutes, and then she began to walk. And she stood in front of that cross, and she knelt and stood up again. And then she walked to the northern side of the church, just above the area where I was standing, and she looked at, at, at the crowd and she blessed them and she smiled and I can say that I saw her teeth when she smiled. I was preparing 
in my mind about seven or eight requests from her when I saw her. One of them was to cure me from asthma, which I had for about 20 years. Uh, when I, I, I saw the Holy Mother, I found myself trembling and tears coming down my cheek. Okay. And uh, I, I was, uh, I stood there about half an hour and I went back to call my family who was in the other street. And when I came back, I could not reach the church because of the pressure of the crowd. Till about 11 p.m., I, I could manage to reach near the fence, but I was not holding anything at that time. And I saw a Muslim clergyman, and he gave me his name as Megahid. And he told me, you are trying to look, you don't see well, I will carry you. And he carried me, and when he did that, I saw the, the most uh, uh, fantastic view I ever saw in my life. I saw the Holy Mother standing. She was about double the size of the human being. She was just... Uh, I believe in front of that dome and she was dressed in blue and a red robe above the dress and there was a uh, crown of about 20 centimeter high on her head. The second time I saw her after that it was a week later. I came a week later it was Saturday also and uh, she was, uh, I, I saw just half view, she was standing behind the dome, and then I saw uh, people pointing at the moon, and I looked at the moon, I saw her face stamped on the whole face of the moon. And that was the last time I saw her in the tomb before I left for the United States. The appearance of the Virgin Mary brought with it many reports of miracles, some of which were witnessed by Bishop Marcos. We had a man who was very crippled. His hands were paralyzed and his back was bent, and he could barely speak. At approximately seven o'clock in the evening, I saw him begin to move his hands and then his fingers, and then the rest of his body. Before long, he threw his canes from his hands and began to run around the church, blessing God, because now he was healed. Another story of healing is told by witness and author Pearl Zaki. One girl named Teresa Galila had polio when she was about six months old. She could drag her legs with crutches, and she was healed at Saitun. And I had seen her walking. There were other miracles seen as well. The late Bishop Gregorios, during a private interview, told of doves the size of angels that would appear and disappear over the church. Before they disappeared, they dispersed like cotton. Bishop Gregorio saw many doves at many different times over the church. Sometimes there were seven, sometimes there were twelve, and they were in a formation. Bishop Gregorios also witnessed several healings at Zaytun, including one Muslim woman who was spectacularly healed after paralysis after visiting the church during the apparition. She visited the bishop to show him how the miracle had affected her life. With a stick in her hand, she said, I am bringing this stick with me, not because I need it anymore, but to convince you that I was paralyzed and I was depending on this stick, and now I don't need it. Even though the Zaytun apparitions took place four decades ago, it is nearly impossible to find anyone in Cairo who didn't see the Virgin Mary themselves, or who knows someone who did. Zaytun is history's most observed apparition of the Holy Mother. It was a long-running holy event that changed the course of Egyptian history. What was the importance of the appearance of Mary? Bishop Gregorios addresses the question. 
Saint Mary is preparing the people for the second coming. But before the second coming, there is the crisis and the Antichrist who creates other problems. Bishop Marcos has a different, less apocalyptic view of what the appearance of St. Mary at Zaytun means to mankind. The vision of St. Mary is intended for all Egyptians, not just the Christians. She gives them peace. She gives them hope and the belief that tomorrow will be better than today. On May 4th, 1968, his Holiness Pope Creolus VI announced the findings of a committee of bishops to 150 members of the press. The visions of Zaytun since April 2nd, 1968 are true, declared the bishops. The Holy Virgin Mary is appearing in her church in Zaytun. His Holiness, the current Pope Shenouda III, says that the apparition at Zaytun is like no other in history. For example, hundreds of thousands of people have been able to see the Virgin. Plus, the apparition lasted almost three years, allowing people to come from all over the world to see this marvel. And Zaytun was accompanied by many miracles, including medical healings and the presence of pigeon-like objects that flew at night and seemed at times to ascend into the heavens. These and other findings have led author Francis Johnson in his book, When Millions Saw Mary, to call the apparition of Zaytun the most astonishing public manifestations of the supernatural ever to have occurred on earth.